Hello, Victor here, historymercedes.com. I uh, did some low work with the 190E, so we're gonna take a look at the uh, uh, what's happening here. So here's the car, obviously. So now we have injectors replaced. I replaced the injectors and injector seals because the old ones were absolutely uh, like like plastic already. They're not. They weren't even rubber. And I just sprayed a little bit of some flat black paint now injectors aren't bled uh, holders themselves I took them off uh, took them out and uh, cleaned them up and they're okay so there's nothing wrong with the seals and uh, a fuel distributor by the way is a remanufactured Bosch uh, fuel distributor Mercedes-Benz of North America so that's a good sign so I don't know when it was actually refurbished but uh, nonetheless it's better to have uh, something refurbished given the mileage on the vehicle versus original one so therefore uh, that's a positive now let me just put the cleaner back on i also put new posts on the air cleaner because they were missing so i'm just gonna drop it in i'm not gonna secure it yet because there are other things to be dealt with but nonetheless i don't want to have any leaves pulled into the intake because we had some storms here and yeah that's about how it's gonna sit um, we had some storms around and lots of leaves blew all over the place not cool at all I uh, keep cleaning the, the driveway here just because all right so we're going to start it for the first time now the exhaust was put in I haven't finished finished completely but in here, I did replace the outside temperature display. And that is a used one, but it does work. Clusters back together. I glued in the surround for the button. And this one was put back in. This is cracked on top and in this corner, but uh, the trim. But nonetheless, it works. These I can pull in and out later because they don't hold. Whatever. But I got working AC. I have uh, working heat. I have cluster that works, I get lights to work, and uh, yeah, all right, so let's just uh, give it a couple of primes. I know injectors are dry, so they're not going to really start, the vehicle's probably not going to start right away. Okay, so a few, few primes, oh, it did I actually caught up. All right, still not bled. I gave it some gas just to help it a little bit because the injector is absolutely dry. I just wanted it to start a little better. I wanted it to run a little smoother. The injectors themselves, they're so old. They seem to be original, to be honest with you. These are old injectors here. They don't look super happy. I mean, yeah. I didn't try to even check them. I don't want to, there's no point. This seal is very, very stiff. It's not rubberized anymore. It's actually splitting at the ends so it seems like they've been there for a quick minute actually quite a lot of minutes days or hours or what have you now so those are replaced lifters are on their way because lifters have to be replaced I don't like that ticking noise it'll go away but no can do that's that's horrible actually, the noise, but nonetheless I'm going to run it for a little bit, let it warm up, then I'm going to double check on the fuel leaks, but to be honest with you, I don't think there is any fuel leak because the way it runs, but again, double check everything, yeah, see these lifters, lifter noise is hideous, I have to get over with that lifter noise. See, it gets quieter. 
I put in a little bit of Lucas oil stabilizer in there uh, and 040 engine oil, new filter. The lifter noise is still there. And I got my outside temperature display. Yeah, it even lights up. And that's that's cute. And then I bought an, another, I mean, I bought a replacement fan control knob. Uh, there are a few things to be dealt with. Yeah, these noises. Yeah. It just sucks. And that's all I have to say. I just, I'm waiting for the lifters. They will be here soon, probably Monday. And I will replace them as soon as possible. And I feel like... Because the lifter is not pumping, I feel like a little bit of a miss. It's not a miss-miss, but it's just like the sound of the exhaust. It's like when the lifter hits, it's like pops a little. So obviously, we have to deal with that. This is, this is crazy. Now, the um, production date of this vehicle is somewhere around 90, I believe. I think it's somewhere around 1990. Oh, second month of 1991, actually. So. Second month of 1991, and that would say to me that the camshaft itself is probably okay. Like the older ones had the problem with the camshaft lobes, gone bad. See now it's quietened down. And uh, this one is a 1991, second month of 1991. So I think the camshaft is fine, but nonetheless, it actually feels like it's running better. Well, obviously, newer injectors, the itemizing better. Uh, spark plugs are wrong, they're still resistor plugs and uh, I'm replacing them with non-resistor ones and uh, we should be good there. So for now, uh, it's pretty much going to be all most likely right now except for lifters that I have to uh, replace because see now it's getting quieter. But the mystery car is coming and that's going to be something else. There's another one coming in. Yeah, you see that lifter comes and goes, the noise. And then it's quietened down. But there's a mystery car on its way today and I'll make a video about that one. That's, a, that's another interesting kind of vehicle. Old school, I can only say it's a 1997 model. Alright, so this is going to be all for now. And this is Victor at historymercedes.com. Thank you for watching.